I've just finished a ride and I thought I'd take the opportunity to run you through the bike that I've been using for the last few months, along with a few setup choices and a couple of new additions to the bike. This is the Cervelo P5X, commonly referred to as a superbike due to its wacky frame design, where it's pushing the boundaries in terms of its aerodynamics. But with that, it does mean it's not legal for UCI racing, but it is legal for a lot of triathlon races, which is lucky for us triathletes. And I've had the opportunity to ride this. And I have to say, I was skeptical in the start, but over the last few months of riding it, it's become my go-to bike. Now, something I'm really excited to talk about are my brakes. And until now, I've been riding the part mechanical, part hydraulic disc brakes. But now I have the new SRAM S900 Aero HRD disc brakes that are fully hydraulic and a lot easier to actuate for what appears to be a more powerful braking. And whilst I haven't needed to, the levers can actually be adjusted to a different distance for different hand sizes. And another nice touch is the textured underneath of the lever for added grip when your hands are wet or sweaty during training or racing. And moving down through the brake, the calipers are mounted using a flat mount and then the discs are 160 mil for maximum braking. Now, this bike is fully kitted out with SRAM Red ETAP on both the front and rear derailleurs, which is fully wireless, meaning they can be controlled by the individual buttons on the end of the aero bars. But to make things even better, they have what's called blips which means that when I'm on a training ride or during a technical part of a race and I'm not in the aero bars, I can change gear easily without having to reach forward each time. Now with this fully wireless function, that does mean that each component has to have its own battery, but these can be easily removed and charged. Now on my crankset, I am running a 5542 chainring setup. And you probably notice within that, I have a quark power meter. And it is the quark D0 power meter, which records both right and left leg power for more accurate power data. And on that crankset, I am running the SRAM Red cranks at 172.5 length. And then on the end of those, I have the Look Keo to Max pedals. And also on the back, I'm running an 1128 SRAM cassette. Onto the wheels, I'm running the Zip 808 Firecrest wheels on both the front and the rear. And on those, I'm running the Continental Grand Prix 4000 tires. But come race day, I would switch these over to a TT specific race tire. Now onto a few finishing touches. We'll start with the saddle. I've got the ISM PS 1.0 saddle, which is a split nose prong style saddle, which just allows me to get further forward, tilt my hips around into a more aerodynamic and aggressive position. But then on the back of that, I've got the profile design bottle, which is slightly stronger in grip to hold the bottle. And then on the front, I have got the Polar M460 bike computer to collect all my data. And I've tried to put that as far forward as I can so that I can see it and see all the data whilst I'm tucked in on my aero bars. So there we go, that is my Cervelo P5X with the new SRAM HRD disc brakes. If you like this bike, give it a thumbs up. And to see more videos like this, just click on the globe to subscribe to GTN. And to see another P5X ridden by pro triathlete Susie Cheatham, just click down here. And to see this very bike descending a hill in Mallorca versus a road bike, then just click down here.